What's up boys on YouTube? This video is about my origin story and how I got into lifting weights. So I was never a jock in high school. I never played any sports. I wasn't even in shape. I was kind of a fat chubby kid, kind of a pushover, kind of got picked on, you know, wasn't that confident was kind of short, right? I was just all the, all the ingredients of a bodybuilder, pretty much, of a future bodybuilder. So I never followed the rules. I was always kind of lost. I never really had anything that I could attach to that was productive, right? Except for like drugs and, you know, mischief and disobeying rules. And it really led me down a path of... Uh, of loneliness and incar and eventually incarceration. So I be I basically long story short, I got sentenced to about 13 months in prison, but with good time it's only around I think I did like 7 months. But since I was 20 years old, right? And I had a violent crime, they put me in a maximum security prison. And that's just what they do if you're young. They essentially conduct a security screening and they basically have the assumption that you're going to act out and you're going to be violent. So they threw me in with the big boys. I was at a maximum security prison, you know, in a little cell, like basically a bathroom with bars on it. And you're in your cell most of the day. You only kind of come out to eat, to work, and you go to the yard one day for three hours. So this is when I started working out pretty much. I just remember every time I went to the yard, I would work out. I would do dips. I would do pull-ups. I would do bench press. And those were kind of basically the same. I didn't follow a workout routine. I didn't follow a, a rest time. I didn't follow repetitions. I literally just... Did repetition after repetition, a lot of pull-ups and dips, right? And just organically happened because I was like, oh man, I'm getting stronger at these. Because I remember when I first started, I could only do like one pull-up. And then I just stayed consistent and I just had that drive to get stronger. And I started seeing my body like get stronger. I started noticing I was getting bigger. I, I was getting compliments from people. I was, I finally found my confidence and it sounds really, you know, screwed up to say, but I think me going to prison actually helped me become a man and figure out what I was actually good at. I was good at lifting weights. I was good at getting strong. I was good at being a leader in there for, you know, cause you work out with groups of guys and usually one guy's the leader. He's like, all right, guys, we're going to work out. We're going to work out at this time. Be out there, you know, get your mindset right. And it was just cool. It was cool to be a leader. It was cool to have something to strive to and to build on. So I was, I'm actually really grateful I went to prison. It might have saved my life. I don't know. So that's how I started lifting weights. And then when I got out, I just continued. I ended up getting into a little bit more trouble. I had a little patch of trouble. But basically after that, I've just been working out, been a personal trainer, been an avid fitness guy ever since and man it just feels so right and like I said I think prison led me to that I don't think if I would have went to prison I don't think I would have got into fitness and working out so another thing guys is don't look at every adversity that you get subjected to as bad right obviously in the moment it's not fun but you got to realize you got to galvanize your mind and you got to galvanize your body and you got to galvanize your spirit and you got to rise from the ashes and you got to become something greater than you were before. And sometimes for hard-headed people like me, it just takes getting knocked down like that to realize that you got to get your stuff together and you got to pursue some kind of endeavor that helps yourself and helps others. So fitness, man, fitness is so important. Strength training is a cornerstone of my life. You know, I finally have something to do. I have something that other people respect me for. I look good. I get compliments. Like, it just so much for you. It makes you so confident. And it's all earned. You can't order it off Amazon. You got to earn that stuff. 
And I hope that you guys self-inflict adversity. I don't wish prison upon anybody, but you need to typically have some kind of event, like a health scare, family members, something happens to where reality hits you and you're no longer in this in this haze of of a false reality where you think everything's fine because it's not. And you're using all these substances to escape. I don't want to escape anymore. I like who I am and I'm fit. So you guys comment below if you have any questions, if you have any questions about fitness or what I've been through, anything guys. I constantly study all this stuff and getting strong changed my life. And that's my positive experience with prison. So I hope this helps somebody. Peace out.